Hi there Bond fans, Blair Ballard here for the Bond Experience. Welcome to uh, the View Cinema here in uh, Westfield Shopping Arcade near Shepherd's Bush here in London. On Thursday the 16th of October they're, they're hosting a massive sale of, uh, of props and memorabilia that they've collected over the years. 375 items up for grabs including some Bond items which we'll come to later on. But let's have a quick mooch around and see what else is on display first, okay? So come on, let's go. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of juicy stuff here on display. We've got Chris Hemsworth's uh, racing suit from Rush and Nicky Lauder's as well. Um, if you come through, there's something for everybody here, really. If you want to come through here, um, <coughs> over here we have uh, something Battlestar Galactica, one of the um, Colonial Viper pilot costumes. There's a Bespin security guard from the, the Empire Strikes Back. If you come around here, a lot of Batman goodies to, to, to have a look at as well. Um, you've got George Clooney's bat cowl. Um, you've got Michael Keaton's bat, uh, bat cowl from Batman Returns. Come around through here as well. Lots of very tasty stuff. This is a particular, particular favourite of mine. You've got Michelle Pfeiffer's uh, Catwoman's mask as well, which is fantastic. Another Batman costume here. Very fancy, the Gremlin for your house. Maybe if your kids are you could grab one here. The, um, the estimate for that is uh, well, three to four and a half thousand pounds. So, uh, got something that's going to be uh, too cheap. Here as well. Um, from, from Dread the Film. You have uh, the rookie judge, uh, Judge Anderson's costume, Olivia Thelby's um, costume there, and also Carl Urban's uh, bulletproof stunt armor vest there as well at the grabs. That's three to five thousand pounds. If you're a Hellboy fan, ultimate piece of uh, memorabilia for you there. Some very tasty Terminator items here as well. Um, this is Sam Worthington's uh, complete costume from Terminator Salvation. Um, oh, Ripley's flamethrower from Alien Resurrections down there. They've got the original one, Sigourney Weaver's uh, original flamethrower, which actually works, I believe, from Alien there. Estimates for 25 to 35,000 pounds, so it doesn't come cheap. A remote control Batmobile model there as well, if you'd um, like to fancy that. An Alien Queen puppet so you can move around there as well. And there's also a complete T-1000 uh, special effects costume here. That's Lin when Linda Hamilton is being kind of imitated by the T-1000. And of course, here we go, Arnie's completely iconic, complete costume here from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Estimates 18 to 22,000 pounds. If you've got the money, I think it's a bit of a bargain, really. This is especially exciting here. Tony Montana's uh, green card from Scarface. Al Pacino's actual um, green card. Estimates six to 8,000 pounds. Some nice fun bits here, actually. Come have a look. You've got Marty McFly's actual hoverboard from Back to the Future Part 2. Um, 14 to 18,000 pounds, rather tasty. And, um, this copy of the sports almanac that he uses when he um, uh, goes back in time, discreetly covering a copy of a uh, Ooh La La magazine as well, which is great. Down below, Jay, you can see they've got a uh, the Kurgan's uh, hero sword from uh, from Highlander, six to eight thousand pounds. That's obviously an iconic piece as well. It's fantastic. Another couple of really great Star Wars pieces here. A biker scout helmet there, eight to ten thousand pounds. C three PO's actual. Um, costume hands there from Star Wars A New Hope. Pieces of the Death Star. Um, a Stormtrooper boot up there as well. Gamorian guard. Head casting. Blasters. Um, an X-Wing blocking shot miniature down there as well. Absolutely amazing. Well here's something for you Daniel Craig fans who might be interested in that's not Bond related but Daniel Craig centric. This is um Daniel Craig's Alien Wrist Blaster when he played Jake Lonergan in uh, Cowboys and Aliens, the actual um, the actual Wrist Blaster, estimate two and a half to three and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, and there's a um, John Favreau signed promotional clapperboard there for Cowboys and Aliens as well. Pan back slightly, you've got some bits and pieces from uh, from Rocky Rocky Balboa. Um, this is Sylvester Stallone's autographed boxing headgear from Rocky III, 1982, and um, also some. Um, some, there's some storyboards as well as the, the, um, the actual shorts, the boxing, the boxing shorts he wore in Rocky 3 as well. Absolutely fantastic, signed by the big man himself. Another nice piece here, this is actually um, 
Bruce Willis's costume from Die Hard with a Vengeance. Another iconic costume, really. Um, estimates, six to eight thousand pounds. Still original blood splatter each. Wonderful. But, next door we'll have some Bond items for you to check out. Come over here, look. Up here, we have Piers Brosnan's uh, Ericsson gadget phone that they use to control the BMW in Tomorrow Never Dies. Down below that, the Moonraker Toxin Vial. Again, another prize, prize piece. Next to that, the, um, the, the tracking device that uh, Roger Moore uses to find the, the silicon chip uh, in the snow in a view to a kill. And then Pierce Brosnan's Walther P99 next door to it. Absolutely incredible. Five to seven thousand pounds and it's in your holster. Below this, we have uh, one of the Japanese Secret Service and the stunt carbines from You Only Live Twice back in 1967. Amazing. It's still in a relatively good condition. Um, plaque lovers, I'm not talking about dentistry. Casino, casino, um, casino Royale, $500,000 casino chip, six to 800 pounds estimate. Next door, that's fantastic, the, um, the SFX Aston Martin manual from Die Another Day that's been uh, shot through by uh, the, the, the shotguns in, uh, from the Aston Martin Vanquish. Great stuff. Now over here, again, a couple of Roger Moore iconic pieces as well. His, um, his Ski jacket from a view to a kill. Bit of authentic damage there. It's gorgeous. And then next door, I know some of the guys from the forums are actually quite interested in this um, the suede jacket that he wore from a view to a kill as well. Wonderful piece. Um, the, the jacket is a Billy Bogner jacket. You see the B there just at the top there. You can just about see it on the zip. Great piece. Last couple of great uh, Bond items here. We've got Scaramanga's shirt from The Man with the Golden Gun. Absolutely incredible piece there. Christopher Lee, legend of his own lifetime. There you go. Five to seven thousand pounds, it could be on your back. And again, Roger Moore's classic safari shirt from The Man with the Golden Gun as well. Three to five thousand pounds. Wonderful. Hi there guys, we are now lucky to be joined by Tim who's the general manager for Prop Store. Welcome to the Bond Experience Tim, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> now we just coming here. Oh no, we wouldn't miss this, believe me, we wouldn't miss this for the world. We've been smooching around and seeing the different the, the, the favourites for you, do you have any particular... Uh, if I had to pick one, I think it would have to be the Scaramanga shirt, I mean it's uh, it just, every, it just screams Bond to me, I'm, I'm not a, as into Bond as you guys are, but uh, to see something as cool as that. Having survived all this time does it's it for me. I think mean, it's pretty wicked. Condition. And you know, Christopher Lee, it's just, I mean, he's so cool. And he was obviously up for Bond as well at one point. He's a friend of Ian Fleming, so he was going to be Bond at one, one stage before Sean Connery got, uh, got the role. But yeah, it's absolutely iconic with them, you know, on the beach with the, you know, the yeah, golden the back, gun. The back to back with exactly. it. Exactly, it's just yeah. absolutely yeah. brilliant. Very cool. Uh, fantastic. My brother's in the, in the contact uh, contact prints as well. Okay, yeah. Amazingly, amazing discovery and in such amazing condition. Yeah, they, they've uh, generated a lot of interest as well. A lot of people have come uh, along just to see these. And um, I think it's just yeah, I've seen the videos, so, uh, to find something fresh from a film that, that long ago, I think it excites a few people. I mean, 50 years old and immaculate condition and a, a slice of slice of history. Absolutely, and just seeing Ursula looking at her very best there. Yeah, very easy on the eye, isn't she, really? <laughs> So the the, um, the auction's going to be on Thursday the 16th. Yes, it's coming Thursday. Um, it starts at 4 p.m. Um, right here at View Cinema, and uh, we're very very excited about it. So yeah. if the guys want to, um, they can register online. To they can bid. register online. You can bid right now. You can place an absentee bid right now. Um, if you want to come along on the day, there should be plenty of room, and it should be a lot of fun. Oh, it's it's so exciting, so exciting. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks to Tim. Thanks very My pleasure, much. Man. Thanks no for chatting. Great stuff. Cheers one final thing for you guys to check out and actually had work done to it by one of the guys on uh, one of the bond forums this is one of the toast leads from thunderball it's been very sympathetically restored the original paint color has been reapplied it's a beautiful piece there and obviously an iconic piece this was actually um, given to the designer at the end of the film and it's been in his collection since then um, but now it's available for somebody deep pockets and a passion for Bond to, to pick up. Absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the brief mooch around the auction display today. This has been Blair Bauer for the Bond Experience. 
have fun. See you later. Bye-bye.